Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the area and perimeter of a triangle. Now remember, perimeter is the distance around the outside of a shape. And then area is the amount of space or surface something covers. For perimeter, we add all of the side lengths. And then for the area of a triangle, we use the formula base times height divided by two, or one half times base times height. Dividing by two and multiplying by one half give us the same result. So either formula works and will give us the correct area. I'm going to use base times height divided by two in this video. Now I do go into more detail about finding the area of triangles and this formula in another video. That link is in the description. For this video, I'll go through two examples. Let's jump into number one where we have a right triangle and we will start with perimeter. Again, we need to add all of the side lengths in order to find the perimeter. So a triangle has three sides, so we need to add all three of those side lengths. So perimeter equals, well, 24 meters plus 26 meters plus 10 meters. So 24 plus 26 plus 10. Now it doesn't matter what order you add the sides in. So something to keep in mind, you'll get the correct perimeter however you do it. So 24 plus 26 gives us 50 plus 10 gives us a perimeter of 60 meters. Let's move on to finding the area of this triangle. We will start with the formula. So area equals base times height divided by two. We're going to use 24 for the base and 10 for the height. We do not need this 26 meters in order to calculate the area. Again, 24 meters for the base and 10 meters for the corresponding height. So let's plug in 24 for the base times 10 for the height divided by two. So now we can work through this. Let's do 24 times 10 next, which gives us 240. So we have 240 divided by two. That gives us an area of 120 square meters. So for this triangle, we have a perimeter of 60 meters and an area of 120 square meters. Let's move on to another example. Here is our second example. Let's start by finding the perimeter. So perimeter equals, and then we need to add all of the side lengths. So we have 12 and 5 tenths or 12 and a half feet right here. 12 and 5 tenths or 12 and a half feet right here, and then 20 feet. So let's add all of these side lengths. Now keep in mind, we do not need this 7 and 5 tenths feet or 7 and a half feet right here. That's the height that we will use for the area. That's not one of the side lengths. So we do not need it for perimeter. Now let's add all of the side lengths. So 12 and a half plus 12 and a half gives us 25 plus 20 gives us a perimeter of 45 feet. Let's move on to area. So area equals base times height divided by two. Now let's plug in the base and the height. We're going to use 20 feet for the base and seven and a half feet for the height. So area equals 20 feet for the base times seven and a half feet for the corresponding height divided by two. Now we can work through this. Let's start with 20 times seven and a half. That gives us 
150. So we have 150 divided by 2. 150 divided by 2 gives us an area of 75 square feet. So for this triangle, we have a perimeter of 45 feet and an area of 75 square feet. So there you have it. There's how to find the area and perimeter of a triangle. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.